Today we're going to talk about a website called Wix. Wix is a free website building template site where students can create visual websites for projects and things like that. Teachers can also have personal websites if they'd like to create a website. It's a really great platform for your students to do incorporate technology into their learning. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new site. So I can choose the type of site I would like to create. The first thing I'm going to do is to select that. Um, so I don't want them to create a website for me. I want to create it and I want to choose from a template. So I'm going to choose a template. And it's really, really, really easy to pick a template that you like. Let's say I want a clean design. So I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to collect, select that. With this template, you can see that how you kind of create on Wix. I think Wix does a good job of personal branding. That's exactly how it's going to work. So you're going to add a button here, a video there, some text, and it's really just going to lay it out for you. So the first thing you want to do is create your menus. So I don't need to change these right now, but if, if you wanted to change them to different things, you could. Um, and then when you want to go to change that page, you'll click on it. And so there's the page for your podcast. But Wix is pretty intuitive. It's a very easy to use site. It's very friendly. Um, but it all starts here with your menus. So I'm going to start with home. So if I want to change the background, I can change my strip background to something. I can upload an image or a video from my computer. You can see that I do this a lot. Um, this, if I select my media from Wix, um, you can choose free images from there. And then you can also upload your own media. So on other websites that I've built, I have a lot of media, but here it's just a free, free template. So I'm just showing that you how to use this. This is kind of hard to see, so I might do something with that. So I can change the font size. I can change the highlight. I can even ha give it some effects. Um, there are ways to even put a background. So you can just kind of play with that and that box as well. So you could change the box background, edit the animation of it. Um, so that's how you do that. And then if I want to add something to my page, I can add a heading. I can add paragraphs, a little bit of text, a strip, a box, any of these things, a gallery. If I was adding a bunch of images, I might add a gallery to this strip. So let's say I want to add a gallery. So here I can change the photos, I can play around with this, and this is my blog. So you can see that they kind of have set up this blog for you. Here is a blog that can, you can click on and manage your posts and create new posts. So this is a very in-depth website building template. It's absolutely free to use as long as you don't want a .com but I can delete all of these and I can make new blog posts. You can see my photo. I can replace my photo if I want a different one. Um, but yeah, so these are all already created blog posts that this template comes with, but I'd probably want to delete those so that I don't have a blog that someone else wrote. So that's the blog template on Wix. You can also add other apps. So it's a really great thing for you to just play around with, but it's very, very intuitive and easy to use. So I think Wix is a wonderful thing if you want to try to use this with your classroom or with your students. Um, it's a great resource. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions.